Hi, I'm Natalie Lerbo, and today I want to share with you some more of attraction secrets to unlimited happiness and success. So do you know what corporate high flyers, scientists and personal growth coaches all have in common? Well, they all practice gratitude. So why do they do that? Well, at its core, gratitude is a basic human trait that many anthropologists and psychologists would argue exists solely to encourage people to help each other. And yet through today's latest science, we are now able to observe the true power of gratitude, which includes dramatic improvements to one's health, to your wealth, to your happiness, and even to your success with the law of attraction. Now, there is a bit of a challenge though. Most people struggle to express gratitude regularly. And too often, our thoughts and emotions get clouded by self-doubt and negative spirals and a sense of lack and limiting beliefs and old programming when what we should really be striving for is an unbreakable gratitude mindset. So most of us don't even realize that expressing gratitude effectively goes significantly deeper than just saying thank you more often. Now, to be specific, an effective gratitude practice must contain the following ingredients. So first, you must express gratitude daily, every single day, no exception. Next, you must stay consistent over the long run because it's important not to just do it for a month or for a week, but to keep it going and being consistent forever. You must keep yourself open to new things to be grateful for which means dropping in at any moment throughout the day and just looking around and going, what am I grateful here? I mean, I'm grateful that I get to live in a place where I've got a great backdrop like this. I'm grateful that I have a team that can put this content together for me and so we have this information that we can give to you. I'm grateful for so many little things. And I'm really grateful for the sandwich that the lady at the, the cafe made for me today. It was absolutely delicious. So be open to new things all the time. Now you must be specific about what you're grateful for. So, you know, don't just say I'm grateful for my friends, um, but think about what it is about your friends that makes them wonderful. Okay, so really drill down and really think about, you know, what it is that makes them fantastic for you. And you must feel a deep emotional connection to everything that you're grateful for. This is the purpose of this particular exercise. It's not just going through the motions and writing down five things and looking around, but it's about feeling gratitude. It's about marinating in that beautiful feeling of gratitude for everything that you have. So what is the challenge with this? Well, the vast majority of us find it really hard to achieve the consistency and the openness and the emotional connectedness necessary to enjoy the full spectrum of benefits that gratitude brings. So for example, Gratitude actually shields you from negativity because the more you start looking for the good things in your life, the more you start to see them and the less you can see everything else. Like I've even found that I've got into a, a point now where when people say something negative about something, I always have something positive to counteract it because I'm always looking for the positive. You know, a joint study by the University of California and the University of Miami found that people who express gratitude daily tend to be more satisfied with what they already have and are far less vulnerable to negative emotions like disappointment or regret or frustration. And wow, what we won't do as human beings to avoid emotions like disappointment, regret and frustration. Who knew that all we had to do was practice more gratitude? Okay, gratitude also makes you at least 25% happier. Now the same study also concluded that grateful people are typically 25% happier in all areas of their life and they're more optimistic about the future, and they perform on average almost one and a half hours more exercise a week than someone who does not practice gratitude. Now, gratitude also rewires your brain in a good way. So a neurological study that was published in the Neuroimage Journal found that the human brain remains wired for gratitude and positivity even months after performing a simple gratitude journal. Isn't that amazing? Now, gratitude also eliminates stress. Another study that was published in the Journal of Consulting and Clinical Psychology uh, on a group of healthcare practitioners found that writing down daily gratitude events led to a marked reduction in the stress and depressive symptoms. 
Now, I think this is because, you know, we're choosing to feel gratitude. And when we're choosing that, we're not feeling stress and depressive symptoms. Pretty cool, right? Now, gratitude also heals. In a 2012 study that was published about personality and individual differences, it found that people who express regular gratitude tend to experience fewer aches and pains. They exercise more and they report feeling healthier. This is why it's so important to make it a part of your daily routine. Now, it's also important to remember that turning any sort of daily ritual into a habit, it, it takes time. And I know someone says 21 days to form a habit. I don't know if it's 21 days, but I do know that this is something that you want to commit to over long term. So stay patient and persistent and allow your mind to steadily adapt to the new practices and the beliefs and the emotions that you want to adapt. So, you know, if you fall off the wagon and you just have one day where you forget, don't worry, get back on. If you have family visiting and you get really busy and then you forgot to do it for a week, don't worry. Just get back to doing your gratitude practice because remember, this is a practice for life. And after a while, it becomes such a natural part of your day, like cleaning your teeth or having a shower, that you won't even realize that you're doing it. And once you've locked down your gratitude rituals, prepare for a massive positive transformation in every area of your life. All right, so now before I go, I would love to hear from you. So did you find the information that I shared today useful? And do you have any tips that you could share with our community? Your feedback is always important, so please share it in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Mind Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. My name is Natalie Nedmore. Thank you for watching and bye for now.